Hello from Switzerland. I'm here in a very normal situation on a Swiss road, okay? I'm here with a cow. This is my car. This is a public road and this can happen. So in this video, 10 travel hacks only Swiss locals know. So let's start directly with the first point and do you have the list? No, I do have it. Okay, so first point is when you come to Switzerland, we've got highways and there you will need a vignette, which is a toll sticker you can buy at the border. It costs uh, um, 40 Swiss francs. But now since uh, this year, you can do the same online. So I'll link a description, one link where you can link your license plate to that. Okay, you pay 40 Swiss francs, you link your license plate and then you can directly drive into Switzerland. So you don't have any, oh yeah, yeah, wait. Then we've got the second point and the second point is rush hour. Rush hour, usually uh, if you come on holidays, I would uh, suggest you avoid it because it can be quite annoying. And normally in the cities, it's usually from uh, sometimes even six, but starting seven to 9 a.m. And then again, four-ish starting five to seven, definitely. But there's one thing, even the cows, they have rush hour, okay? When they come back from the pastures, what they do is they usually because they're trained a little, they will usually wait at the field, okay, for the farmer to come and then they walk back to the stables when they're down in the valleys, okay. So sometimes even then you will have rush hour with cows, which is quite cool. It's quite, a, it's a unique experience and I think uh, you will love it when you experience it. And if you do not have rush hours, then you might have mountain pass closures. I'm here on a small mountain pass. It's not a very known one. Uh, in the canton of Obwalden and it's not close because the cow is standing in the middle but in winter there is snow and it's a huge deal to actually maintain that uh, during winter to clear the snow all the time so it's basically impossible usually it closes with the first kind of snowfall and then in spring it sort of depends how quickly the snow melt how much snow there was so you cannot say oh it's open in April or in May so it sort of depends how the snow situation was as well in winter it can close earlier when there is huge amounts of snow falling okay so what you can do when the mountain pass is closed in Switzerland, we have got car trains. That is basically a train that goes through the mountain and you can drive with the car on the wagon, okay? And then you will ride through the tunnel. It usually costs, yeah, around 30 Swiss francs. Uh, if you're afraid of mountain pass driving, this is an option you can do as well in summer. But in winter, you sometimes have to do it. Or if you don't do it, you have to make big detours, especially this is the case when you go to Ballet, you have to ride all the way to Lake Geneva to go around and that's, Basically, some for some it's great because they love driving. For some, it's a really big deal. So car trains is the solution. And when you are driving so much because you took a deviation, you ask, well, I have to fill up again. And then here's another hack. Usually on the highways and in bigger cities, gas is more expensive. And especially if you make a lot of kilometers in Switzerland, it can be advisable if you just maybe take a gas station a little bit out, even in the mountains where you think it would be really expensive because there is nothing else, they're usually, uh, it's quite cheap. And then you fill up freshly and then you say, well, I can now go and enjoy some more scenic routes. And this is what Swiss locals do as well. We take the scenic route. We like to take the scenic route, especially when we're here in the Swiss Alps. In the navigation system, you can select that you do not take the highway. In some locations, it's not so nice, but in the Swiss Alps cantons, it can be very nice to do that. So you have encounters like this one and it's absolutely fantastic. So as you know, parking can be really expensive in Switzerland, but there can be one way around it. And I will show you, of course, as well, but it's a little bit difficult to explain. So I'll have it linked in the description down below. Okay, we're talking about this one here. This is the blue parking disc, or we call it Blaue Karte, Blaue Karte in Switzerland. There, you can have the chance to park for free sometimes. And why not use that advantage? You can purchase this card, supermarkets, gas stations. Can you hear this? Silence. Now, this is the next point, actually. Just relax, okay? When you come to Switzerland, don't stress out about anything. Don't stress out about driving, okay? So when you're driving in Switzerland, and I see this a lot, people, they're overwhelmed by nature. They're overwhelmed by the surroundings and sometimes drive a little bit slower because it's absolutely normal. And then what happens is you've got the, the normal guy from Switzerland back from his work day, okay? Maybe it didn't go so well. And behind you, okay, he's his local, his local road. He knows what to expect behind every corner and he sits in just behind you and this can be very stressful for some so in this case what i suggest is just relax a little bit there are many roads i'll show you actually like in this case okay this is a normal mountain pass road this is one car width only but what you do have 
very often is these places where you can go out okay so one car comes the other one can pass absolutely no problem but there is one way where a lot of swiss drivers are really stressed and that is when on the highway we have two lanes in switzerland the right lane okay where you drive the left lane is where you overtake okay this is different to other countries where you can use either lane and it doesn't really matter in switzerland if you are on the left lane and you're not passing cars try to switch on the right lane because people are going to go behind you and they get angry they flash the lights they honk and so on and it can lead to sometimes dangerous situations so this is the most common situation where you will actually encounter bad behavior i would call from the swiss also when you're in switzerland what you want to do is you want to stick to the traffic rules and you do not want to stick to the traffic rules for the reason that it costs a lot of money if you don't okay if you cross a double line it's a thousand francs okay if you speed too much it's a newspaper article and maybe even banned from driving in Switzerland. So it's not even about that. It's about the dangerous situation. Okay, Switzerland is a small country. It's got a lot of corners. Okay, it's got a lot of situations where you cannot really tell what's behind the next corner. You cannot really assess the traffic situation when you don't know what to expect. But what you can expect is a better travel experience when following this channel. See you soon around in Switzerland. Peace, Paul. Und tschüss.